In this video, we are going to tell you about the hiring trends in 2026 and that too, particularly in the field of software testing. So we would look into that in detail. And uh, before we go to the uh, details, let me tell you about the automation testing real-time project, the self-paced course that is available on the top mate. So these days, many of the companies, industries, they are looking for automation testing. And if you have a real-time hands-on experience, it would be easier for you to crack the interviews. Many of the folks have not got the opportunity to do the automation testing in their companies. They are trying to switch from non-IT to automation or from manual testing to automation. So this is a single course which will help you, which will enable you to go for the switch. It includes hybrid framework. It includes a programming language, Java understood from the scratch you can understand it from the scratch from the zero you don't have any knowledge about vdd cucumber test ng everything would be covered here plus mock interviews plus ats friendly resume template interview questions and answers everything is covered in this particular course so you can avail this particular course on the top mate now let us see about the hiring trends in the field of software testing in 2026 and overall i would tell you that 2026 has started on a positive note. Many of the companies have started hiring not only just the uh, tier 3 or tier 4 kind of colleges are getting the placements, even the IITs are getting the companies. The companies like Google to Oracle have uh, started hiring. They have already started the placements. In fact, IIT Kanpur has got 15% of more companies new companies approaching them for this particular placement so overall 2025 2026 hiring that is needs to be done that is seeing an uptick in the iit plus if you will see in the different uh, locations so we are coming to that so overall the tech hiring is increasing and the software testing remains resilient so it is a selective but it's a stable demand now when i say stable demand so definitely the companies are looking for the automation testing let it be playwright with javascript or selenium with java one of the tool is mandatory if you are looking forward to have a switch into the automation testing go for selenium with java it's one of the best it's one of the evergreen skill that the companies are looking so automation is on demand as the roles are in demand there is a shift in the skill demand earlier manual testing roles functional testing roles were there in demand but now there is a sudden shift to the automation qa api testing is there uh, performance testing is there these days if you are not getting the calls just add api testing api automation rest assured rest api in your resumes add them in your statements add them in some content of your resume i can bet that you would get the call for sure and still if you are not getting the call Connect with us on the top mid for the resume review. Yesterday itself, one of my subscribers got shortlisted in one of the big MNC company. He was making somewhere around 9 lakhs per annum and now he's getting 16.6 lakhs per annum. Yes, and that too with 90 days of notice period, right? So companies have started hiring. The automation roles are in demand. Yesterday, one more uh, my subscriber, they went for the interview at Infosys. So he was, he was, he, he gave the automation testing round. He was able to answer all the questions. So what is stopping you to crack the interviews is the gap that you have to identify. Connect with us on the top mate. If you want that, what is the gap that is to understand what is the gap between you and getting a new switch. Now, these are some tier one city trends that I would like to tell you. With respect to Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Pune and Chennai. So you can see all kinds of roles hiring is going on, especially QA. So if you will see Q, uh, Bangalore, there is advanced automation roles are there. So people are looking forward for automation testing along with the playwright as well. In Delhi, you can see more of enterprise and fintech QA kind of roles. These days, the domains are also very important. What is the domain that you have put in your resume? Don't go for travel-based domains. Don't go for uh, HR, MS or HR, uh, human resources kind of domains, right? Those are redundant. Those are outdated. The domains which are in demand are e-com, e-commerce, um, then uh, financial domain is there, capital market is there, investment banking is there. 
So these all domains are there in demand. And in the upcoming days, you would see the interviews around uh, automation testing, around functional testing, around managerial round of testing happening. Uh, and uh, we would continuously update the YouTube channel also with those kind of content, right? So we could not uh, upload much of the content in the last week because of the personal loss in my family. So uh, we would be definitely uh, trying to upload the, the content, the videos in the upcoming week on the daily basis. So Mumbai, there is a lot of demand of DFSI domain, right? If you know banking, if you know fintech, if you know financial domain, it's it would give you a lot of boost. In Hyderabad, there is a lot of demand of automation and mid-senior roles you can see, right? So there are companies which are hiring a lot now and you will see the hiring from January to March. If you are looking for a switch, this is the best time, three months, go for it. Pune, you'll see a lot of product-based and service-based automation roles. Chennai, again, IT services and delivery focused testing is going on. So tier one city trends are according to this. So if you are into these cities and you're looking for switch, or if you're not from these cities and you're looking to switch to these particular locations and apply for jobs, then prepare accordingly. In the first technical round, you would get at least two programming questions, two or three programming questions. You should be able to write those programming questions. If you are not able to write, then even though you have a referral, the chances will be very less for you to get shortlisted. So try to get the job, try to clear the first round in which the Java is going to get asked. Right Now, let's understand what is happening with respect to testing. So testing is now understood as a priority, definitely. And these days, the companies are not just looking to hire testers, but they are also looking to get quick productivity from them. Right? It's not like you get onboarded and you be productive after six months. That is not the end goal here. Companies are looking that you be productive in the initial stage itself. Right. You, it is expected to be productive as soon as possible. Of course, you will take five to seven days for that knowledge transfer, for that understanding of the application. But later on, you have to get the speed. CICD integration DevOps. Nobody is expecting you to be a pro in CICD, but you should know how to do the root cause analysis. How can you troubleshoot the systems? What went wrong? Is that an application issue? Is that a script issue or is that an environment issue. So those kind of things you should be able to troubleshoot, right? Shift left testing is again important, right? Then these are a few of the key takeaways for 2026. So one is stability even during cautious hiring cycles, automation plus DevOps plus system thinking. So you should be having a good hands-on experience on creating pipelines, on creating agents, automation, and uh, it is more of, you know, if you have to get more business, if you have to get more and more clients, then quality engineering is into the limelight now, right? So one advice for the automation, for the QA professionals would be that you have to build the automation depth because it might happen, you might be able to clear the first round. But the second round would need hands-on experience. And that is why we have created this course. In this course, I'll also be connecting with you personally, one is to one for the mock interviews and would correct you, would guide you for the improvement things that you require in your answer. Because the second round is a core automation round that is happening in all the companies. So for that round, it is very important that you should be able to give the answers with a majority so that you don't get caught that you are trying to shift from non-IT to automation. And minimum three years of experience of automation testing is required in the market these days. So you have to be prepared with the interviews accordingly, right? So this is the keynote. You have to strengthen problem solving skills. You have to gain domain expertise like FinTech is there, SaaS based things are there and focus on long term career. Don't Get into the company just for working for six to eight months. Work over there for one, 1.5 one year and then go for a switch. But at the same time, don't stay in one company for five long years, right? Get into the company, take some experience, get one or two appraisals and then switch. Because when you stay for five years, I've been connecting with many people, right? So they tell that they have been staying in the same company for five years. And what happens in that duration is 
the appraisal is not happening so good for them because you have been in five years in the same company you don't get that double numbers which as well double number appraisal as well which is why your earnings and your overall package also gets decreased it is reduced a lot so this is one of the important thing that you have to understand if you have been into the some company for five years four years get out of that comfort zone and start looking start for looking for a job opportunity right away if you get stuck anywhere feel free to connect with us on the top meet right and uh, we'll make sure that i can connect with you as soon as possible for the live sessions also right and we'll definitely assist you with the guidance with the mock interviews with the resumes or with our automation anything would we'll be happy to help you write us know what kind of guidance what kind of assistance is required from our end be happy to assist you right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more updates